Okay, so back to slide guitar. We've already talked about just getting a hang, playing one note, making it sing. But one thing that's really important to get a good sound on slide and make it sound uh, uh, as musical as it can be is a muting technique that most guys use. I just, I've been playing so long since I was a kid, it kind of comes naturally to me. But basically I chose my third finger, probably because Dwayne Allman used that finger, but I found out through the years, it's kind of enabled me to twist. I can turn and get different intervals. That kind of stuff, I can get that happening a little more often. Um, come on, boo. Go on. Go on. Um, I found that with turn, I can on this particular finger, I can do a combination of things. I can fret behind the slide if I want to get that involved. Sometimes I do that just for an effect. Play one note, then go. Three blind mice. And um, also it enables me to be able to turn. If I had it on my middle finger, I wouldn't be able to turn as easy to do like a, a minor third interval. So that's why I choose the third. Now I've never, I don't like to tell students what to do in many respects, because I think if you want it bad enough, you will find it no matter what your shortcomings or what you think you can't do, there's always a way to do things. So that's what I do to get my sound. Um, now the muting thing, if this is important, um, I kind of designate one string for each finger, uh, depending on where I am on the fretboard. And I'm kind of only utilizing four. I don't really do my little finger that much, but um, thumbs on the bass and then, uh, on the bass, the thumbs on the lowest string of whatever I'm going to do. Um, then I have my index finger on the G string, middle finger on the G string, and the ring finger on the B string. And instead of holding those little groups like that or jumping up to the next um, group of four. And what I might be a nice exercise for you to do is to play like down an arpeggio, down a, or down a chord uh, shape. In this case, I'll use G. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, everything's covered for right now. There's nothing, everything's pretty much muted. I'm muting with my thumb over the bottom strings. I have my, I guess my little finger is on the top string, but it's kind of being muted with my ring finger too. But I'm gonna pluck the B of the G string while the other strings are being muted. And then I'm gonna go hit the G. And when I did that, I dropped my ring finger back on the B string to mute it. So, and then I play the, the high D with my thumb while the other strings are being muted. This is really important if you wanna get uh, melodic, um, cause you don't really want it unless you want that effect, you know? So the idea is let's take that for right now, like a G chord. See if you can practice when you're playing one, the other ones are muted. When I play the, the G, I, mute, I drop my thumb back on the D string. When I play that B, once again, that lick up on the uh, D string on the fifth of the G, everything else is muted. When I hit the high G, I put my thumb on the B, and it becomes second nature after a while. Okay, hope that helps.